So I've got little dots all throughout this, which is where my drill holes should go. And this one's got a lot. Now, um, I'm actually gonna do this one first. I just feel a little safer with this one. The, the one I worry about most is this dot right there. So I try to make my dots so that I can actually get this to feel inside of them. So what I really want to do with this pedal one of these days is I would like to, yeah, there's the harsh light. Um, is I don't want the uh, LED here. I want to do the LED right in the middle of the eye and do it red. But this one didn't come out. The color I want, I didn't do the white. This should all be a stark white. And it's not. It's that off gray. So I'm going to just put this one together and sell it off. And then try to get it reprinted and make another. Because that's the way it works. But I'm showing you how I end up doing my uh, my drill holes. Um, and actually I need to get a template so I can put the thing up top or dial it out. But what I do is I try to take the tip and get it to be right in the center of the dot. I need to start making my dots a little bit bigger because they're ever so slightly too small right now because my dots actually, when I have them on paper, have a little hole right in the middle. But I can't feel that hole right now. And what I want is I want to be able to feel that hole so I can get the tip of this right in the middle of that hole so there's my center punches on there um let me grab a template real quick and i can use any pedal pcb template because they all have pretty much uh standard holes what i do is i just want to get it to where I want it to be. There you go. I'll take down that end and I'll just real quick that's because I don't like my um I don't like my DC so high up and I use the bigger DC jack. And while I got the template, I might as well do this one as well. This one's got my more. So this one, nope, see I can't, I can't feel the center. And I should be able to. So, um, well, actually, I can. Okay, that's not bad. And to tell you the truth, I forgot where my uh, where my LED is going on this. It's this one also, I sent out the wrong template. But this one, I can actually see the little center a little bit better. Can't exactly feel them. Yeah, see, this one actually does ever so slightly of a stick. And if I made those a little bit bigger, as they should be, there would actually be like a little hole for that to go into. What's funny is once you actually center punch them,
Um, trying to find it. So, this is our uh, template. What's funny is you never think that the skills you learn as a child are going to come in useful as an adult, but I've done more coloring and cutting things out in my 50s than I think I did between the ages of 10 and 15. Thanks. I know I didn't do any at the age of 15, so I was just too busy trying to stay up. So I don't know why, but I was an idiot as a fucking teenager. Everything became about sex. Needing to have sex. And actually, now that I look back on it, it probably wasn't about sex. It was probably more about just trying to find someone who fucking love and care about me. But, well, I'm in my 50s and I'm single again, so that did not happen. Probably because as a teenager, I let it be about sex. And then that's all girls thought I wanted, so that's all they were willing to give me. All right. So, now we got that cut out. Let's... Fold it along the lines. I always fold it on the outside edge of the lines because it does round over the edge. Um, there we go. I'm glad I have a strong light because I actually want to see. Oh, it's up into the train. Where's that gonna go? That's gonna go like right there. That sucks. Well, all right, so I don't like that. That actually goes right into the train right there. I really don't want it right into the train. I'd rather it was here over the pandemic pedals or a white one right in the middle of that. But it's not where it's going. You know what? And it's a little tiny three millimeter. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it. You know what? This one I didn't like the way. Um, the white didn't come through. It came out gray on this as well. So I might redo this one. But if nothing else, I'm going to do the, uh, I'm going to do the LED over the pandemic petals. I'm gonna do it right about there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks kind of central. All right, so. You see, these are not in frame, but they are now. So I go through a three-stage process. So I hand drill. Um, I use a 16th to make my initial hole. I then use an eighth inch 
to make it a little bigger. The eighth inch goes through so much better once the 16th is done. It actually is hard to get this through the first time. It just takes a while, so I'd rather do the smaller one. I use the eighth because that's the smallest part of my step bit. I get that eighth in, and then we bring it all the way to whichever level. It's all the way up for, you know, and through for the DC. It's to this last one for the stomp. Um, I think it's the, well, the eighth is going to stay for this because it's going to be a, a third inch, uh, three millimeter. Three millimeter is an eighth. Works perfect. Um, I think I have to go in one or two more for five millimeter, which you'll see on this one. Um, once I have it in, it's five, one, two, three, four, five steps in. Once it hits this spot, I know it's done for all of these four in for those eight for the thing. So that's how I do. I just kind of count through the number of clicks it goes in. Um, I just use a standard hand drill. Uh, this is like an old, old Ryobi. One of the things I like is it does have the little, you know, um, thing on it for me to tell when I'm, when I'm zeroed. Um, although sometimes I actually just hold the enclosure and, and, and make the holes. Um, as you can see, I use some uh, painter's tape as my stop. That way I don't, you know, keep going all the way through. It only goes in a little ways. It also means that it allows me to, to, to stupidly drill straight into my hand, although I try not to, um, without actually drilling into my hand. Um, but I can like show you here how well it works is I can just kind of line it up, get it to touch, and then it just and make my pilots. I try to make myself as uh, perpendicular, right? Yeah, perpendicular. So I want it to be a straight 90 going into the holes. But you see, nice pilots, easily made. Um, and I don't have much trouble with this. Um, here you can see, and I want to make sure I get the right spot. Well, this one I can see best. So sometimes I'll do that. I'll just give it a little turn. Use it it kind of shines up the spot and we don't want to we don't want to start drilling in any of the wrong spots. And my eyesight's gotten so bad. Now you may see me wiggling this back and forth. Now that's actually really bad. Um, and has gotten me into, uh, it's fucked up my paint jobs quite a few times. Because it will scratch the surface. But I like to know that it's holding in the spot I want it. There it is. There. All right. I don't like to drill straight into my hand. This is going into like between my thumb and my index finger. You can tell. As the tip heats up sometimes, it likes to 
grill a little less. And if I wasn't filming right now, I would actually have it flat on the table, like so. Um, take my drill bit, get it lined up with the spot, make sure I have the thing that drill centered. And really just let the weight of the drill pull it down. So that's all my pilots. And they're all cut. You can see I've got my, my little holes all the way around. So now it's time to make it one step larger with the eighth inch bit. And again, like I said, I line it up. I don't even go as fast with this one. Especially on something like this, because I know that eighth inch is, uh, I don't want to go in. I don't want this to rub up against. A lot of times I'll do it from this side, um, which is more dangerous because then I don't have the depth of the enclosure to protect me from drilling into my finger. And I don't get to see exactly how I'm doing. Um, on the part. There's several things that can be done to protect the art. I can and I have used painter tape over the front. To protect it. Um, some holes need to be some holes need to be more protected than others like this one because that's the final hole. Um, these don't because they're going to get washers and stuff over them. I actually like holding it better as well because then I'm not putting it onto the surface. Um, and I don't need to worry about uh, getting all these metal shavings into things. That's why I'm doing it here. Um, a lot of times I'll do it in a little bucket that I have because that kind of keeps things cleaner. Oh, you know what? I did do this one. Oh, I didn't decide where. Oh, no, it's going up there. So let's actually finish this one off. But let me let me show you what I mean. So oof. Oh, yeah, that fucking overcoat really helps. So you see, one, it's harder to line up with things. See, so, and I don't like how long that takes to get through. It just, it, it just doesn't work for me. All right, I'm going to actually do the top here. Okay. It's the whole so that's where a drill press is nicer when I show you you'll see that I got a nice scratch right across the whole thing right there of course as I said this one's already going to go out as a scratching dent love this circuit though I'm going to actually for, for these up here I'm going to change back to the smaller uh Yeah, that's not where I thought it might be, but that's fine for right now. Well, you see how well that tape is working. 
That's not super balanced. So there's the other thing as to why sometimes you want to put the thing over the top is you see the, the swirl. So it's one of the reasons why you want to be careful as to when you're going from which side. So this one is, holy shit, did I really miss it that bad? I did, holy fucking balls. The problem with your eyesight going is you don't see when you fuck yourself. So, no, that one in the wrong spot, too. All right, so I've really fucked that hole. So, let me, uh... So, I don't know how to fix that. I tried to crick the hole um, here, which I think I was successful. Um, now we want to get the rest of them, which is this. One, two, three, four. See, so here, this kind of shows you the difference going from inside and from outside. From outside, you get that little, you know, where it's starting to cut the next, you know, tick down. Where when you get from the inside, you have a much cleaner hole out there. So what I do is I kind of go from inside and then just do the fifth. There you go. That's the fifth. And this one needs that one more. Um, this would also be five. So another thing that's good to do is have one of each of your pieces of hardware so that you can check and see if your sizes are good. So, you know, that means I'm right at the spot. You see, just goes through just right. Um, the, and the important part is the thread goes through. So since the thread goes through, we know everything's working fine. Um, and we'll be able to, you know, put that pedal together. Um, I do believe, and I need to look. Yes, I have a... Um, a five millimeter on this. So I do want to make this middle one a little bit bigger. And I don't remember, I, like I said, I thought, I think it was two clicks. 
Um, I'm pretty sure yep, one doesn't make it. Um, so that was the second. What I'll go do is, yeah, you see how that's nice and tight on there? And I like, I like that look. You know, just fits. It'll look good. Give me a little spot that kind of lights up. Sticks nice in there. Um, as I said, that one there is all but the last one, which I typically can't do from this side because you'll see. You can see I kind of go up against the edge, so. And then we can check this. There we go. That goes through just fine. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to want to use the, I probably don't want the white around the outside. I'll just use a, I'll use a washer. Now we've got to get these ends. Um, as I said, with the ends, it's eight, eight and all the way through. Um, I'm going to stand this up to do it right here. I'm trying to find a clean spot. The eighth inch works really well for feeding into there and you see our scratch again, which is why you want to be very careful. Um, if there's burrs, and this is really only the uh, burrs of the, the powder coat itself. Um, the only one I really worry about it with is this one because this has no nut if you're using a uh if you're going to use a bezel it doesn't really matter quite as much all right so the final step before we can start putting it back together and it's really only on the led part now i don't want to get paint on the front but I do want to go inside and get that inner edge. And all I'm trying to do is get rid of all this silver so it just stays a really nice black. All right. We'll let that dry up for a couple of minutes and then we can put that back together so while we're waiting we will start to drill this one so this one drills a little bit different uh these only go four clicks because they're the uh the switches these will go five and eight through and i think this is nine i don't remember and this is going to get the 3.5 so that's going to stay right the way it is so
these two are close to ready to go. So since this should be the final putting together of these pedals, let's uh, hold them off a little. Put this down. There we go. So I've been using this uh, Minwax finishing paste as um, like the final cleaning step on the pedals before I put them together, just because I like something that kind of goes over, wipes them down nice, nice. Um, put it on for a second. Don't need a ton of it. But I do want something that I can, you know, at least know that I've polished them up a little before I put them together. Um, if there's a lot of stuff around, sometimes I'll, like, that's why I leave my thumbnails long, just so I can actually get in there and get stuff out. There we go. This one is doing really bad. There we go. It also has a little on that upper edge. As you can see, got that gone now. Sorry if I keep going out of frame. It's kind of hard to work around the camera rig and I'm still learning these guys that have done this YouTube thing forever it's like a, it's amazing how they've learned how to work around everything I should probably have the camera higher up and zoomed in um but I'm still trying to understand my process I'm also in a 600 square foot apartment so everything that you see is done in that apartment. Um, so I got to use my room as best as possible. Yeah, I did get scratches all over the surface of that. I wonder how I did that. Probably wiping off the drill bits. Yep. See, so you learn all the time. It's one of the reasons why I actually really like the uh, the epoxy coating is because putting the epoxy on covers whatever damage I did to the surface of the pedal, you know, in in the finishing process. And and that's pretty much it. I mean it's all wiped down, cut up, holes are made. Now it's just a matter of getting your circuit. Um, this actually makes it take me a little longer, but it also means that I don't lose all my, uh, pieces, although I could have put them in the bag. Um, I am going to need to go get a washer because I do want to use a washer and not the white washer on this. Although I think I'm going to just steal it from another build. All right, so there's those. I really hate that they don't come with the washers I want to use because I don't like to do just the nut. It's like I feel it doesn't protect the pedal. So I buy these these washers from uh, Love My Switches. Um, these are the ones I like the feeling of the best. They're thick. They're nice and smooth. Um, 
I, I got some others. I don't remember from where, so I'm not going to say, although I suspect I know, but I'm not positive. But until I'm positive, I don't like to say I don't like anybody's stuff. All right. So, um, as I was saying, now it's just a matter of putting it back together. Which should go relatively quickly. Everything should just slot right in. I use the deep sockets. Um, I like the way they work best. They don't strip. You know, I put a little tape on for some grip. I've got a little collection of them over here that are the sizes I know I'll need. Um, as long as you wash it down, they sit on the washer so they won't scratch your surface. Before I put these in, I like to make sure I have the power. I hope I have enough of these uh, optocouplers to make uh, three more of these because I, I do really, really like this pedal. Um, and I want one for me. And I like to sell off the other ones because I don't like the things to go to waste. And someone could definitely use these. Like I said, I mean, the thing, the thing plays great. Um, so as I was saying, I want to put this in first uh, because I need the room to tighten it. So you see it goes up and in, and then it's got this nut that has to be threaded on, not crooked. There we go. And if it goes on right, it should go all the way down. I got the little Dunlop tool that I used to tighten it in there. And there you go. So once you have that, now I can put these through because they're not going to interfere with me being able to work it. I hold them on with a couple of fingers. I get the, the nuts on or the washers, the nuts. Um, and then I'll stick my finger in this gap here when I tighten so that it tightens up against my finger and it won't rotate too much because I want them to stay nice and square. So the gap and then this one, I'll put it on, you know, this side. It doesn't always stay real easy. Oh, that's going to have to do. Um, as you can see. I, uh, let's twist that, that's semi-twisted. So I do this with my power cables, um, because it's the only thing that solders on the inside and it mounts from, from outside. And I like to be able to take my pedals back apart again. So that allows me to do so. This is number 75, my Solo Dallas Storm Clone, which is the closed circuit from Pedal PCB. So we can start closing this up, especially since I think my recording is over in three minutes, and who knows how long things are going to take me. Um, And truthfully, um, this bottom here is not the one for this box because that bottom is actually for the one that I'm about to put the epoxy on. But it was again black, so. And I've been using the pedal for a while. Always turn them all the way down. Uh, that way I can kind of have a locator. I make sure this little nub 
is straight up. That's how I kind of consider it to be in the position I want it. So hopefully they're all in the same spot. It's a little over rotated, but that'll do. Once I start using them, they, it's all good anyway. There it goes. There. Level. Boost. Limit. So. There's the closed circuit. Looks good. I like that. We'll have to come back to look at the uh, putting together of this guy. But actually, I think he's going to just sit there and wait. We aren't going to get to see it. Because the hand-painted one is what's the one that's going to get done. I got some stuff I need to order. All right. Hope you enjoyed. Let me see how we do it. This one is ready to get put together. In fact, it looks like I drilled out this hole too big. Uh, here is mine. I don't know where my test piece went. Oh well. Is that the wrong size? Yes, it is. Drilled it too big.